Hi, this is Christy Vorthorns from Southeast Technical College, and I am going to show you how to register for the fall semester classes for 2023. Very first thing is to go to My Tech and click on the Student tab. From the Student tab, you will click on Online Registration. From online registration, you're going to come over here and take a look at this area. As you can see, it says that the current uh, term that's open for registering is the fall 23-24. Perfect, that's exactly what we want. Now, go to Add Drop Courses next. And you'll see here that you have a drop down again for the term. So if you were wanting to register for summer classes, you could definitely do that again. And as you can see here, you must receive registration clearance from your advisor because the drop ad period for summer is closed. Now, if you get that, this message when you are in the fall term, that means that your advisor has not cleared you for registration. It's a very important part of this registration process and that's that your advisor knows what you are registering for to keep you on track for successful completion of your diploma or degree. Now that is your faculty advisor, your program advisor, not your student success advisor. All right, so we've got the term here as clicked correctly. And down here, I'm not going to hit anything here except for search. Then it comes up with all these classes. And if you look at the bottom, it shows the different categories. And I'm going to be registering as a business administration student. And if you look over here, I have ad boxes. If you don't have ad boxes, then you probably aren't cleared for registration and you should check with your uh, faculty advisor on that. So as a business administration student, I need to take an accounting class. I need to take the Principles of Accounting 1 class. Now this one here is an on-campus class. You can see it shows Mondays and Wednesdays. This one's Tuesdays and Thursdays. It has a, a room that is um, assigned to it. This one is an online class. And you can see right here under the location, it shows that it's online. If you look over here, you will see the dates that the class meets. August 21st through December 23rd. So that is a full 16 week course. I want to take the accounting class in person. So I'm going to select this one and hit add courses. And the next screen shows me I'm registered for it. If I needed to drop the class, I could drop it from this screen as well. Cause you can see right here, I have a box under the drop. I want to go and search because I have to take a business 101 course. So I come down here, click on the category, and I see there's some business 101 classes here. This one is a regular class that's in in person. Now this one here has an AO at the end. That means it's accelerated online. And if you look over here at the dates, it starts on the first day of class and ends during the eighth week of the semester. This one is also an accelerated online class. And you can see that the date that that runs is the second eight weeks of the semester. So I can add whichever one of these courses I want. As you can see, we have on-campus options and the online options. So I am going to choose to take the course that meets the second half of the semester. And I'm going to add that. Now you'll see I'm registered for seven credits, Accounting 210, and Business 101. For my program, I also have to take an English 101 course. I'll go back to search. And go down here and find where I think that English course is going to be. Like I said, I need an English 101. Now, if there is no box here, that means that you can't register for the class. So these courses, this section and this section are set aside for another program. So you can't register for those, but anyone with the box you can register for. 
So I've decided that I want to take the English composition online also, and this is a full semester course, starts in August, ends in December. I'm going to add courses. And now you'll see I am registered for 10 credits. I have my courses listed here. If I needed to drop them, switch uh, sections, I can easily do that. So that is how easy it is to register for classes. Now, the first important thing is to get cleared by your faculty advisor. The second thing is to know the registration schedule. The schedule will be emailed to you and it will also be up all over on campus. You'll be able to see what day your program starts registering. So the day that your program starts registering, you can begin registering at seven o'clock in the morning as long as you have clearance to register. So be on the lookout for your emails with the registration times, look around campus. Um, and if you have any questions, check with your student success advisor. They can help you with the registration schedule and they can also help you register for classes if you're not sure of this process. Thanks a lot and happy registering.